Well, we mentioned markets are under some pressure today on a reassessment around interest rate cuts. The U.S., a resilient economy, pushing out some of the timing right now in the market's view on a so-called Fed pivot. Canada's economy has also shown some resilience, but some experts are citing cracks compared to the U.S. Deloitte has published its latest economic report. And earlier we were joined by Don Desjardins, who's the chief economist at Deloitte Canada, got her thoughts on the outlook for Canada's economy. Things are shaping up to be a little bit better than we had anticipated in so much as we've seen um, some increases in GDP in the early part of this year. Um, but there's still cracks, as you say. Uh, we still have a lot of pressures on consumers and businesses. And we think that's going to really temper the pace of growth in the first part of this year. But we do anticipate a uh, strengthening as we go through the second half. Okay, and actually speaking of businesses, the Bank of Canada just had one of these surveys mm -hmm. that they do where it doesn't sound like everybody's jumping for joy right now, but that idea of a recession actually hitting, the expectations have actually been diminished. So yes. you're, like the soft landing scenario is a more realistic scenario? Yeah, we think it yeah. is. We yeah. think it is. We think that, you know, as I say, the pressures are there, but as we move forward, um, you know, we've got some good things um, in the pipeline once interest rates start to move lower. Uh, as you said, the business survey itself, uh, you know, businesses are, are feeling that pressure from the uncertainty. And so they say, yeah, we're not quite ready to jump in with investment right now. But I think as that uncertainty dissipates, as we start to see interest rates move lower and we see consumers, um, you know, and especially all that pent up demand for housing start to, to materialize, rates move down, we start to see all this coming, we'll start to see business investment pick up as well. Okay, so on that very much discussed subject of interest rates. <laughs> Give us your expectations for what happens from here. Well, uh, we do think the bank is going to cut interest rates this year. We have penciled in a June cut and then two subsequent cuts in the next couple of quarters. And it is a slow pace. It's not like we saw interest rates move up. This is gonna be much slower, and it's going to reflect the fact, I think, that as the economy starts to turn, the bank doesn't wanna see a reacceleration in those price pressures. And so to lean against that, they're just gonna move very slowly and deliberately in getting those interest rates lower. We just uh, finished a segment um, with a market strategist in the U.S. who said if in the U.S. the Fed mm -hmm is in a position where they can push back on, let's say, cutting interest rates in June. Mm -hmm. That should be a reminder that the economy is doing relatively well. People should be <laughs> happy about that. Here, we talked a little bit about some of the differences. Yeah. What, what ultimately do you see as the biggest difference between Canada and the US? Well, I think it is the fact that household debt um, is elevated compared to incomes. We have lots of mortgage renewals. Now in the US, they have a longer duration of their mortgages. Ours, as we know, can be very short or they could be up to five years in general. Yeah. Um, and so these are rolling over. Uh, a lot of the mortgages that were taken at extraordinarily low interest rates are coming up uh, for renewal. And so that is going to keep some pressure, I think, from the consumer's pocketbook point of view. And so to that end, you know, when you start to see some relief, uh, that should give them a little more to spend. And I guess the jobs market has to stay relatively healthy for mm -hmm. all of these pieces to work together. Is that a fair Absolutely. Takeaway? I think, yeah, that's yeah. the biggest risk, I would say, to our outlook, is if we see something happen to the labor market, significant job losses, then this soft landing um, will be jeopardized. We will watch for some jobs data later this week. Mm -hmm. the, um, the other thing, and this arguably complicates the jobs numbers month to month is that we've seen record population growth, right. which is uh, an economically driven policy, uh, which ultimately plays into things like the jobs numbers. Mm -hmm. We've spoken to a few economists in the last couple of weeks after the government made some tweaks right. to, um, to, 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 to those immigration related uh, programs. Um, and immediately that sort of sparked a new conversation around, yeah, like I know we've had some growing pains with, with the immigration story in the short mm -hmm. term, but immediately some of the economists said, well, hold on a second, if we're gonna make some tweaks to those, uh, those, those policies, that actually could hurt our growth story down the road. 
Down the road, sure, but I think, you know, in the interim, right now we're coming up against a lot of pressures, as you say, on the housing side, the fact that rents are rising so quickly. So I'm thinking that, you know, the tweaks, fine for now, we'll have to figure out what those, the right number is, yeah. because we do have problems um, in terms of our aging population.